Let's take another look at how the Snagomatic can really help the golfers. We're going to take a look at the pitching side of things now. Of course, the Snagomatic is set up exactly the same way on the handle. We grip it in exactly the same way, but do keep your clients going through that discipline. That's going to lay the key foundations. Once they've done that, get them to go through their Y shape, their feet is together, pointing at number six, and then they're going to bow towards the ball. In that position there, with their feet pointing there, go through the steps, going to target step, and then a step away from the target as well, the rear foot here. From this place, we're going to swing to number nine. Now, as we go to number nine, already the snagomatic is against the forearm, but now we're going to create the pitching action by creating the L shape as well. Again, a nice simple analogy to learn from. The L shape from the shaft, through to the arm. But the key thing is the snagomatic is resting against that forearm all the time. That's helping to support the club and give us a feeling of strength and a position we can control the shots from. So once again, it's a good practice all the way to the backswing there. Number nine, create the L shape. All the time feeling that snagomatic against the forearm. Number nine, create the L shape. Now once your client's done that a few times, of course, they then have the confidence to do that all in one motion. But the key thing is, as long as they can feel the snagomatic resting against the forearm the whole time, they get the club in the right angle, the right plane, they have it set, it will feel strong, and then they'll be able to keep the club in control as they're coming back to the ball to get the strike thereafter. So once again, just a simple example of how that snagomatic now extends to helping the pitch shot as well.